Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm here with the Latte Panda. Now this is the two gigabyte version. It has an Atom X5 8300 CPU clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. Runs Windows 10 out of the box. You can buy one that comes with Windows 10 and one that doesn't. I opted for the one that does come with Windows 10 and I only got the two gigabyte version because that's tight on money around here lately. So let's get into it. I'm gonna test Half-Life 2 today. Now I know this is an older game, but this is a small CPU, and hopefully it's gonna handle Half-Life 2 really well. Before we start here, I just wanna let you know that this is running from an external USB hard drive. Now this is a 2.0 500 gigabyte Western Digital green hard drive. And I'm not sure how running games from an external hard drive affects the performance. We're gonna find out here. Okay, so we've booted up Half-Life 2. Let's check the video options here. Video, we're at 1080p, full screen, 16 by nine. And we got advanced, high, 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 shadow detail, only goes to medium. I'm gonna leave it just like this and see what happens. Click okay, new game. Now I'm gonna fast forward this, you know, tutorial for you guys. So I enabled the FPS up in the top right hand corner. I'm not sure how you can see it because it's all over the place right now. But we're 22 up to 30 on the high settings. I'm probably going to have to set this to medium. It's really not that bad for the small little computer though. Let's, let's do that. We're going to take it down to medium. Turn my console off here. Video, advanced, model detail, texture detail, we're gonna go to medium, shader detail, low. And we'll do apply, just to see if that helps with the FPS. If it doesn't help by much, I'll turn it back up. Yeah, so now we're in the, you know, up to 30s, I see it spiking to 40. Half-Life 2 is totally playable at low, if you like Half-Life 2. I mean, I can play this game on super low and still enjoy it. Just let me in, dude. God. Bunch of jerks around here. What's your problem, dude? Throwing stuff on the floor? Freaking tired of you guys. All depressed around here. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining centers. Okay, dude. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going. Where's my homeboy at? What I'm going to do is just fast forward this until we get outside because inside these halls and everything we get decent frame rates because there's no draw distance. Okay, guys, so we're outside now, and the frame rate has dipped a lot. Best thing we could do is down the resolution to 720, or just turn all the details down. 
Let's see how it looks at 720 or how it plays. So as you can see, when I turned the resolution down, the screen went a little crazy. I'm not sure what's going on here. I have to look into this, but my FPS was dramatically increased. It would definitely be playable at this resolution, but um, the screen has got black borders around it now. I don't know what's going on here. So yeah, it does. It runs it pretty well. If you take the resolution on down, um, you shouldn't have any trouble playing these older games at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'd be able to play Portal and possibly even Borderlands on this little machine. In these tight, confined spaces, we do get 60 FPS. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any requests for any older games running on the Latte Panda, let me know in the comments below. I do own legitimate copies of Portal, Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2. Um, I got tons of stuff, like a lot of older stuff that I used to run on my older computers. And it's CD-based, so I'll have to come up with some way to hook a CD drive up to this, but we can get something running here. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.